Hello everyone, this is Sarah from Bay Area Wellness where we help you to have less pain, more energy, and live a more joyful life. This weekend I was making donuts at Lehman's uh, craft show and if you're from Freeland or you've ever been through there, you know that this is the second biggest event, second to the walleye festival, okay? I know, small town problems. But um, it got me thinking that a lot of people work on their feet all day and I know how sore I was after one day or two days and a lot of people feel that all the time and so I created this video this week to help those people who work on their feet so when you have a sore back knees hips and definitely those feet it's really really hard to have energy at the end of the day it's hard to um, get up and and cut the grass and cook dinner or whatever else run the kids whatever else you have to do so this video is gonna help you to get some energy and get feeling better after you get home after a long day on your feet. So um, I know, heck of a title there. Also, be sure to check out our three strategies to decrease your pain webinar. So this is a great way um, to figure out how to have less pain if you deal with a lot of pain. So it's an easy webinar. It is, um, you can watch it on YouTube. It's super easy to do. And you just go to www.mibayareawellness.com to sign up. Okay, so here are our strategies for today. Um, so you get home from work, your feet are sore, your legs hurt, your back hurts, everything is just sore, you're tired, and what do you do? You have stuff to do this evening, you can't just lay around all day. Um, so what do you do? Sometimes it's easier for some people than others, um, and for me, I know this is what I did. So I went home, gave myself 20 minutes to get some energy, get a shower, and feel a little better. So I put my legs up the wall, okay? So I'll pretend my arms are my legs. I'm gonna put them up the wall like that. I laid on my bed, that way it was easy. Um, so I laid on my bed with my feet on my headboard and just stayed there with my legs up in the air, just kind of resting on the wall. And it did a couple of things. First and foremost, it's going to, going to let any swelling, any extra fluid build up, any toxins that are stuck in my feet or in my legs kind of just drain down so that the rest of my body can take care of it. And the other thing that it does is lets your whole body relax. So after you've been going, going, going all day, that um, epinephrine just keeps on keeping you, um, it keeps on keeping that stress level high. And so by sort of resetting with our legs up the wall, it's going to help you to relax, help you to calm down, and it'll help you to feel a little better, which is the goal, right? So be sure to do that legs up the wall. I did it for like 10 minutes. Then I jumped in a quick shower, got out and gave my feet a little massage. Okay. Now, if you don't feel comfortable doing this, or um, if you can't shower and you have stinky feet from the day, you can always give yourself a massage with a tennis ball, AKA a dog toy. So um, take a tennis ball or a dog toy or whatever you have and just roll your feet with it. It feels so good. It'll help you, um, like I said, to get rid of a little bit of that pain and just help you to feel better overall. The next thing I did was foam roll my muscles. I know that my glutes, my hamstrings, my quads um, were really, really tight, really sore. And so I used a foam roller and rolled out all my leg muscles and this made it feel so so much better. Plus it gave me some energy just to get that blood pumping really, really helped to pick up my spirits. I wasn't having pain anymore. The kind of stiffness that I was feeling, the heaviness was all gone and I felt way better. Okay. So bonus activity here. If you are still needing um, to have less pain, one thing that can help is getting a little bit of exercise in. Now it doesn't have to be, if you've just spent 12 hours on your feet, I'm not expecting you to go running or something like that. But if you get your body moving just a little bit, maybe you just dance to a song in your kitchen, or maybe you do 10 push-ups and 10 sit-ups and call that good. But get your body moving a little bit, get that blood pumping a little bit more, and it will help that pain to ease. It'll help your energy level to go up and you will start to feel better, okay? Especially if you've got stuff to do in the, the evening, then you're trying to conjure up some energy for it, okay? So those are our 
three tips for the day plus your bonus exercise tip. I can't wiggle my finger, my pinky, without the rest wiggling. Anyway, you get the drift. Three tips plus um, our bonus. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Do not forget to sign up for our webinar. It's going to be wonderful. MIBayAreaWellness.com. And that webinar, again, is three strategies to decrease your pain so you can live a more joyful life. You guys have a wonderful day, and we'll see you next week.